Hey guys, what's going on? We're going to be going over how to win more face-offs. One of the most important stats in the game, you know, if you don't win face-offs, you're not getting possession, you're not driving that offense. So, so while we take a couple of minutes here, it won't be long, just a short little video on uh, the four, four centermen that I think you should go after that are cheap, right? Like, we don't need to spend a ton of coins for this because we're not looking for speed, like that's not the main thing we're going to be looking for out of our, our uh, centers. We're looking for the face-offs that we want to win so we can get the puck to the winger. So he can get the goals, right? So let's get into it. And I mean, if you're going to talk about face-offs, you're going to talk about Patrice Bergeron. So average speed for this time of year. He's a good height, good weight. Um, his shot, it, 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 you can make do with all the stats that Bergeron has, but we're not looking at him for all the other stats. We're looking at him for his 87 face-off. You can put him first, second line, third, fourth, whatever you want to do. But shorthanded, that's where you're going to shine with Bergeron. You're going to throw Bergie on uh, on your shorthanded, your penalty kill, and you're going to trust that he's winning those draws for you. And with fly in the zone, you get that activated, and you're boosting up his speed even more, so you can get him to an 87 speed. Right? That, that's what you're looking at right there with Bergeron. Not much needs to be said about him. He's pretty uh, he's pretty obvious on uh, on the best face-off option in this game. My next favorite for me to always go after, again, six foot one, good size, good weight at 216. Gives you the ability that if you don't want to draw it back and you want to push that body forward, it gives you that ability with his size. So Ryan O'Reilly, obviously, as you see him on the screen here, again, not the fastest. 82 speed, 82 acceleration. His shooting, his hands, his checking, everything very manageable this time of year. His 88 face off. You put that guy in there and you will not be disappointed. His speed, you don't have to worry about it because when you drop back to your D, chances are you're throwing it to a winger. As your winger's coming up the boards, Ryan O'Reilly will catch up and he will be in the slot waiting for you to dish it to him or whatever, right? He'll be that big body in front of the net and he will get there eventually. So you don't really need to think about it. Bergeron, O'Reilly, they're locks. And like I said at the start, guys, this video isn't about spending a ton of coins. This video is about stacking up your middle. Jordan Stahl, 86 face-off, very competitive on the dot, very competitive. It's 6'4", 220 pounds, you're pushing anybody around. Cheap, you can get this card right now for 2,000 coins, and I mean, that's that's the best you could ask for out of a third-line center, penalty kill center, hell, power play center, right? Like, you can't, you can't beat it. 82 acceleration, 81 speed. It hurts, it hurts, it does hurt, but like, this time of year, you're not looking for speedy centers. You can get by without it, right? So that's where we're going. We're going size up the middle, and we're winning the draws. Again, it's the same as all the other guys. You're winning that draw, you're putting it to the winger, and your slow center will catch up. We're not spending a ton of coins down the middle. We're saving those for our speedy wingers that are burying the points in the net, right? That's what we're doing here. 86 face-off. Set it, forget it. Don't even worry about it again. And it wouldn't be a face-off video either without coming in with our fourth option, Jonathan Taze. Chicago's lined up for a bad year. This is very true. But we're not worried about IRL. We're worried about winning the dot. 86 face off, 6 foot 2, 200 pounds. And with these four guys, you got a mix of left handed and right handed, right? So that's what you can be selective on who you bring out, whether the puck's on the left or right side of the ice. 84 speed, 84 acceleration. Been average for what we've been finding. That's a little better than the last two. But uh, Jonathan Taze is somebody you can trust on your dot. So with these four centers, guys, if you just pick them up, None of these guys are going to be expensive. None of them's breaking the bank. Bergie's like seven. Riley O'Reilly's like seven. Uh, Jordan Stahl's like two. And and Jonathan Taze is, is dirt dirt cheap, right? Nobody's nobody's rocking Tazy right now. So just make it simple on yourselves, guys. Take these four center, win all your dots, and improve them as it goes, right? Like as the game progresses, cards will come out with better faceoffs. And that's when, like, as you're playing, as you're earning rewards, as you're earning coins, you can start investing in your team. This is just to get you that jump start to be competitive. I really hope this video helps you uh, helps you build down the middle of your roster. Um, if it does help you, just give it a little thumbs up. Comment down like, hey, this, this was helpful. Thank you very much. Or, or, hey, man, this is obvious. You're poop. Stuff like that, right? Um, if you do like it. Don't forget to hit subscribe and if you're interested i also put up one on defense and i'm going to be covering wingers here in the near future just to show you the wingers that uh, i use and cheap wingers that you can fill out your third and fourth line with that'll still help you just bury 
So you guys have yourself a wonderful day. See you next time.